In this video, we're going to look at a problem I've come across on a couple of instances where I installed HRSD um, and then went to the employee center and the HR menu was not appearing. So I'm logged into an instance that actually doesn't have this problem, uh, but we'll go take a look at uh, some of the possible causes of that. So this I found this mostly occurs on instances that were already existing um, and had Employee Center installed at some point from the store um, and then later on had HRSD installed. And I'll show you the most common reason why that happens uh, um, in a second here. So these menus, uh, HR and IT, are controlled by the taxonomy in Employee Center. So the first thing to check um, is to go into the, the back end and go to taxonomies here. And um, employee is going to be your, okay, actually, even before we do that, let's back up a second and just go to, or you can type portal in there. And we have under the employee center application menu, there's a portal configuration, which brings us right to this menu, uh, right, right to this record. And here we define the taxonomy for the portal. Um, and they put it in a related list, but you can only have one. So I don't know, maybe I guess they're planning for the future that maybe in the future you can have many. Uh, so you wanna check which taxonomy you have applied to this. So out of the box, it's gonna be this employee one. We'll go into the employee taxonomy and just take a look, make sure the HR menu is there or the, I should say, topic, the HR topic is there and that it's active. Uh, and then go into that HR topic and make sure it has some child topics, um, which out of the box, it should have all of these. And then go into one of those child topics and oh, maybe not that one. Right, uh, onboarding, and make sure it has some uh, connected content. Um, so as long as there are child topics and at least one of those child topics has some connected content, then the item uh, should be appearing here in the mega menu. Now, if you find that you have all this and it's still not, uh, then we'll go to the next step. Um, if you go in here and you see that uh, there isn't anything under connected content or there aren't any child topics. You can go and go to, uh, I guess, system applications or plugins. You can also do that. I tend to type in plugins, but okay, we'll go all. And then there is a an app called uh, HR, HR Taxonomy. Um, so if you don't have any of those menus under the HR menu, or you don't even have the HR menu, you can, uh, install this. I believe that HR taxonomy is installed as part of HRSD. Um, so that shouldn't be a problem, but, uh, if it is, you can go in there and you can also do a repair in here. Um, although in the, in the other instances that had this problem, uh, this did not fix it but it's just something you can check. Okay, so let's get to the good stuff. What actually fixes this problem? Well, also go into this, uh, we're in system applications here, and we're gonna go into employee center pro. Uh, so go to the employee center pro, and you see this instance actually doesn't have the latest version. I'm on 28.0.3. And oh, oh, actually, that that's the latest version. And right, I'm on 27. Um, so go ahead and update your Employee Center Pro to the latest version. Uh, assuming this is not uh, th this is a dev instance you're dealing with and not production. If it's production, you probably want to test that first. Um, but if you do that and update to the latest version, um, then do a refresh in here. Your HR menu will likely uh, start appearing. So this happens because uh, Employee Center Pro is a store app, so it doesn't necessarily get uh, updated automatically. So if you're on an instance that's been around a while 
uh, it might have an employee center pro that is, you know, 26 or 25 or so, something older. And uh, for some reason, the taxonomy, the HR taxonomy doesn't play nice with those older employee center pros. So uh, yeah, if you just go ahead and update that, um, that should fix your problem.